97.1, The Fan. Hey, have you guys uh, settled on a uh, on a starter at that other safety spot? Not yet. No, they're both doing doing very, very well, making the decision very difficult. So we'll see. Who knows? And by doing very well, you're talking about Jordan Fuller and Eric Smith? Yes. Yeah. Will there be a decision or will it be a you know a two-person thing if you can't come to a consensus? Well, we have some decisions to make. Yeah. I don't, I don't know the answer to that yet. We're going to sit down and talk after tomorrow and kind of formulate a plan. And at, you know, at the other corner spot, I mean, is Damon Arnett holding sway or is Kendall Sheffield stepping up? Who is – it looks like the starter at that point at this no, point. I think they're all doing well. Yeah, I think that's going to be uh, – I think we're going to have a chance to be able to rotate some people there, which will be good. Did Do you see it? You said that uh, Damon was the quarterback of the secondary and he sets things up. When Damon isn't in for some reason, who is that guy? Well, it's, someone's got to step up, right? I mean, that's what happens when a guy goes out of the game. Um, don't even like to think that way, but one of them has to, you know, take over. Greg, when it comes to your defensive end rotation, we talked to them the other day. They seem like I mean, you could play a bunch. Uh, how do you anticipate that will will work? Obviously, you're going to play a lot, but you, how long do you anticipate they'll play at a time, per se? Very much like last year. Coach Johnson does an incredible job of rotating guys in and out of the game. And, you know, you have to be smart with that when teams are tempo. And if you're not, you can get caught, you know, with guys running on off the field illegally. So it's really uh, – a science and one that he's done for a long time. So you got to be able to roll your guys in and stoppages of play and then when there's a, a chance to do it. Well, with Kevin being here and there, how much, of, how much is Indiana mystery in, on offense right now? Well, you know, you don't, all you can go on is the people that they hired and the schemes that they've run other places they've been. You know, you look at uh, who the offensive staff is, who the offensive coordinator is, and you kind of start your investigation there. But Try to gather whatever you can, and then you you know you hope that your defense is adaptable to whatever comes up on the night of the game. How much has Kevin been in giving you tendencies, personnel, whatever? Well, tendencies wouldn't be the case, you know, because it's a new coaching staff. But personnel certainly recruited every one of those kids, so uh, no one knows them better than he does. So, do you guys have a focus going into Indiana? Do you have one thing they're working on in particular? Well, you know, there's always situational football you have to prepare yeah. for. I think what's helped is Kevin giving us. Um, an insight into personnel that you normally wouldn't have. But schematically, you know, you don't have anything to go on. You know, you have a spring game and things they did at other places. But what they did at other places was with different people. So you may not do those same things depending on, you know, if your people are like or not. Yeah. Some of your linemen in, uh, earlier this week said that this defensive scheme that you guys are using is more, is more defensive line driven uh, than it's been in the past. Is that an assessment you would share? You know, I don't know if that, you know, I think it's always been pretty defensive line driven. I think we're giving them some opportunities to, to uh, go make some, some situations happen. Um, but again, our defense is a do your job defense and all 11 pieces fit together. So that's, per, you know, the main focus of everything we do. They may get a few jobs that they like doing a little more earlier in, in the game, but that, that's it. I am. I am confident of that. Working with them, all the practicing and being in the meeting room with them and all those things. Do yeah. they have differences, like vast differences, or are they similar? Were there similarities and differences? Yeah, there's some differences. I mean, Jordan's a little taller, rangier guy. Eric's probably a little quicker guy. Um, they're really both good football players, though, and we're fortunate to have them both. Nick Bosa talked about more recent tasks. Nick Bosa said you guys are lining up Well, we, we as a staff, we made the we made the decision to do some of the time. You know, it's not all the time. Yeah, we we just you know how players are when they get something they like. That's all they focus on. They forget the the, the other things that they maybe are, are a little harder on them. But um, I think it'll give them a chance when 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 they are in a little looser position to to play a little bit more with their athletic ability. But it's certainly not an all the time thing. That that I can promise you. How advanced is Chase Young from other freshmen that you've seen come in? Um, he's pretty advanced. I mean, he's gifted, and he's been a fast study in, in Coach Johnson's teaching. Your number one source for sports, 97.1, The Fan. The fan.